Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Two Shot here from Two Shot Gaming, and we're doing another budget build. This is obviously nerded out where we talk about PC stuff, budget builds, we show off graphics cards, memories, we do most of that stuff live, but these budget build things I think are just fun doing a little PC part picker and just going through the system real quick. Alright, so uh, let's get started. This, um, this build... I know I call it a budget build, but it's kind of like the best I can do with the budget that I have. So it's like a budget build, right? That makes sense, right? I'm still thinking about a different way to showcase it, really. So just bear with me with this for now. And we're going to try to work on it. The first thing I was thinking of, uh, um, he wanted gaming that he could play like a Battlefield Hardline and a bunch of other games. And he wants to be able to render a little bit with it. So... You know, $1,100, it's kind of hard to make the perfect gaming rendering machine. But, um, you got a quad core processor in here. It's i5, 4690K, so we can overclock it a little bit. Probably get it to around 4 gigahertz at least. And with the quad cores, you should have a pretty good time rendering. It might not be, like, you know, ultimate, like with an i7. But it's definitely nice, like, little entry level to get you started. So that's pretty cool. Um, I was trying to go looking cool. I really couldn't, you know, that's an option to get a ride on there. But the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo, it's just really nice, cool, nice, cool. It's a cooler. It's a nice, perfect, you know, passive, air-cooled option that works great. Um, the motherboard, the MSI PC Mate. This is just a really, it's a solid motherboard for the price. I'm trying to think if I should be trying to pick up these pictures like this. This is a pretty solid motherboard. It's got like the little blue theme going on. It's got um, dual channel. It's got a couple of um, PCI Express lanes, so you could go dual graphics cards. So it's got like a little, you know, upgradeability in there. So it's, you know, it's not bad. It can handle what you needed to do. Right? That It makes a lot of sense. That's what you want. You want it to be able to handle the stuff you can do and have a little upgraded ability. Right here, the memory, I kept it at, I went 1600 DDR3 memory, 246, so you can take advantage of the dual channel, and eight gigs. Eight gigs right now is okay, it's great for gaming. It's good for rendering. More, something like that, it's, it'll help. But um, right now, that's that's all right. Um, I had to put an SSD in there. Uh, Kingston makes like really good SSDs. Like well, most of them are good. They had a problem with one of them, but most of them are pretty good SSDs. And um, 120 gigs. That's pretty good for the price. It's not bad. They're coming down. Every computer built should have them. So this you can put your boot up drive on, get stuff going nice and quick. And with this, um, Seagate Barracuda is a really, really, like it's a really um entry level kind of starter, good hard drive. Um, it's two terabytes. So I figured I'll give you enough because you want to do gaming. You don't need too much, but I didn't want to get you two because it would have been more. So we get, uh, instead of one, like two one terabytes, we want one two, one two terabyte. That makes sense, right? 72 RBMs, you can put your games on it. Just make separate folders for your videos. You want a 970. I, I was bouncing up and down. I was going to take it away, put it in. I had to readjust and reconfigure things. And we got the, um, the GeForce... A GTX 970 Strix. This is a um, this is a really nice card. Like I really want to get this card too, just to have it because it's just a beautiful looking card and it works great. But um, that'll be that's gonna be good. It's a big card. It's very it's a very nice card to have. And like you got your Display Port, you got your um, HDMI, and you got the um, DVI and DVI VGA DVI. So you got you got everything you need. You know, you should be using DisplayPort. But that's a different story. And the case, I wanted to show you this. Because I know you wanted the case. I, I looked for the case, I couldn't find it. And this is like a really small picture of it. Alright, I found a little better picture of the case. Because I, I wasn't happy with what we were seeing there. That, that picture was way too small. So this is the Corsairs, Corsair Series 300R window case. PC gaming case. Very nice. You got your um, USB 2 and 3 up there, your headphone jack, your power, you know, power reset button. 
nice airflow into the case. It's just a pretty looking case. It's nice and clean. You know, it's on a little bit of cheaper side. This is what I want to talk about here. You got your dual graphics cards. You got your ride in the back, your 120 ride that you can hook right up to your CPU. Very nice cooling options. You got plenty of air on top so you can shoot some air up and out of the case also. And you got the nice uh, hard drive. It's just great quality. I, I don't know what to tell you. So that's, that's really cool. I just wanted to show you guys that part really quick. The case just looked too small to show. And just a nice simple power supply, the EVGA. It's semi-modular. Modular. We got some of the wires coming out of here. Some of them, you know, some of them you can hook up yourself. Nice, solid, good power supply. It's, um, it's 80 plus blondes rated, so it's very nice. And then we threw in Windows 8 because we always try to throw in an operating system because I see in most of them they don't. And we came in right around 11, 1160, I mean 1061, which is right between 1000 and 1100. Um, you can see that in some of these builds, we can probably get them a little bit cheaper if you go around looking for some deals for some of these things. This gives you like a pretty good option right now. And as of right now, this is what the system will cost unless you find some better deals. But um, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please, if you're out there looking for a PC build or something like that, do one. I kind of want to do like an ultimate kind of gaming build maybe or something like that or... Um, Something in that range. So, so leave some comments. Tell me what you guys are thinking about. Or you want to see a really cheap, like, three, $400 gaming build that'll get you by and let you play the games. Alright, thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Peace.